Well, a lot of us will spend this Memorial Day weekend at the beach. In California, swimmers will have lots of company in the water. Oh, they certainly will. New drone images show Los Angeles uh, has an increasing number of great white sharks swimming among people. CBS 46's Karen Greer explains why experts aren't too concerned about it. Watch as this huge shark swims right up to these unsuspecting children and then swims away. The population of great whites off the Southern California beaches is exploding. Oh my God, oh my God, don't bite them, don't bite them. Wedding photographer Carlos Ghana started capturing these stunning images off the beach last year when the pandemic dried up his business. Almost every time I see an interaction with a human and a shark, my heart does pound. We've all been conditioned ever since Jaws came out to fear that interaction. But this is far from Jaws. Here's another large shark calmly cruising the surf. This one approaching a family. A swimmer is headed right towards another one. All of the sharks seem uninterested. Despite the fact that people are out there thrashing around and their arms are hanging off boards and legs are hanging off boards, sharks just ignore it. Chris Lowe is director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach. Why don't they want to eat us? Well, we don't really fully know the answer to that question. First of all, we're not close to being on the menu. Most of the sharks spotted off Southern California beaches are juvenile great whites. Despite their size, they're only up to about six years old and very inexperienced hunters. Carlos's video shows that they're very aware the surfers are there. Yeah, in fact, we've been able to document sharks recognizing that somebody is nearby so they know the sounds of a person swimming and surfing. So they've learned that we're not a threat. Kind of seems that way. But Lowe says that could change if people get too comfortable and start going after the sharks. They're a wild animal, and if they feel threatened, they will defend themselves. Kieran Greer, CBS 46 News.